Hey you guys, this is KNA 8533 and today we're going to be talking about the basics on how to use Keynote 2009. My Keynote is right here in my dock, but if yours is not, it's very easy to find it. You can go right here to the spotlight, it's to the right of your time, and you click on it and you just type in Keynote and it should be the first, the first one up here under top hit. So all you would do is click on your keynote, and the first thing that comes up is all these templates. All you have to do is choose whatever one you like or you use them for your presentation. Um, my favorite of all of them is craft. I like the colors, I like the different um, I like the different slide choices and if you just swirl your mouse over it it gives you a look at all the different slides within within this theme so you can just you know twirl your mouse over it and that just gives you a look I like craft so we can go with craft so you double click with craft and then this comes up then you can just resize it down here so you can see the whole thing but it's 75 percent or whatever size you like and then this is your cover page. The first thing you're going to have to do is obviously double click to edit to add whatever title you want your presentation to have. Um, today we're just going to you know, do some simple practice. Okay. Next, you have a couple of op options. You can leave it like this, or you know you can um, click on the box and you can change the font to whatever you want. You can notice a whole list of fonts, very interesting fonts. Um, you can choose whatever font you want. You can choose whatever size you want it to be, whether you want it very small or big whatever you can have whatever you want okay and in this instance it's bigger than my box that's what this little plus sign at the bottom means it means that you have more that you're not seeing outside of the box so what you would do is you can just grab that and pull it down or you can grab a corner and to move it you just you can see all these little white dots when you see those that means you can move it so you just click in the middle of it or anywhere and you can move the box around and then you click off the box and then it it unselects that particular box and then you have this one you could do whatever you want you could change the color if you want it blue to match the background or if you want it bold which you can change over here or right here. You can underline it, you can italicize it, you can do whatever you want. Okay, to add the next slide, what you would do is go right here to the left, right above where your little slide area is, and you just click the plus button. And then you get the next slide. You have tons of options here. Um, you can either click Masters, the little down arrow if you want to choose a different slide from this particular theme you can do that say you want to add three photos or pictures to your um, presentation you click this one all you would have to do here is get pictures off the internet or from your files I have some pictures from my files right here let's get one of Piper my little puppy dog so what all you would do is you would take the picture and drag um, and if you wanted to fill up all three let's just take some more pictures from out of here oh here's one which is puppy okay and you just take any random pictures and just drag it and if you wanted to reposition these it's easy you just double click on it and you can see how it highlighted you know, you could see the whole pic other part of the picture that you don't see normally. So what you could do is, let's make this a little bit smaller. There you go. 
Now you can see the little dots. So you can control the size by the dots. You just put your cursor over the little white dots and you downsize it. And then you can drag it and push it in the middle. And you can do the same for any of the other pictures. You don't you don't have to resize it if you want. You can just move it around so you can see it. Perfect. Okay. All right. So say you want to add a title to this. All you would do is hit text box and a little text box comes up. You can move it anywhere you want. You just grab it with your mouse click and you double click to edit. So let's do the title Piper. It's, my, it's a little puppy's name. So the next option you have is you can highlight it or just grab the whole box. That way you can edit it. You can change the size. If you want it bigger, you can change the font to whatever you want. You know, just make it pretty. Okay, let's say for another new slide, you don't want this theme. You want to choose a different theme. So what, would you, what you would do is the yellow box surrounding this indicates that it, it is selected. See, I would select this one, but now this one's selected. You would just click the down arrow on themes, just like we did for masters to choose a different master slide. You would choose themes. And then all of your themes that we've seen all the way in the beginning of the video come up again. So then you can choose any one that you want. Let's do Imagine. Imagine's also a lot of bright colors. So then you get the Imagine theme. Just like we did with slide two, you can go to Masters, and now you can choose from either Craft slides or you can choose from Imagine slides. And Craft and Imagine are the name of the themes. So I want, let's just go with another photo slide. And it would be the same as all the other ones. You double click to edit. So you double click it and this is the frog slide. If you want to change out this picture, which you probably would, it's the same. You would just take, the pic take a picture and drag it to this area. Okay, let's say that you decided that you didn't want you didn't want this slide. You wanted to do some text. So what you would do is you would select it, you go to Masters, and you can either choose one from Imagine, or you could choose one from Craft. Let's go ahead and just choose one from Imagine. Text and bullets, frog, okay. Um, and you can put whatever information you want here, and whenever you press the Enter button, your cursor goes to the next line. And also a new bullet is also added. So, you know, you would put every time, you just put your information in, every time you press enter, a new bullet comes down. So let's say you um, have all this information you want to put in. Okay, as you see now, my last bullet did not get shown because it went outside of the text box. So only thing you would have to do, and that's what this little plus, again, that's what this little plus means, that you have more information than what's showing. So all you do is you click off the box, then you click back on the box, and make sure that you see, you know, those little white squares. That means that you can move it. So you just, you just click on the box, and you scoot it up. And then that way you can click on the little plus sign and drag it down. Now you can see the last part, the last bullet that I had just um, written. Okay, to resize the box, all you have to do is put your, put your arrow over the little white box right here, if you want to move it this way, and you just drag it. Now you can, you know, and the little yellow lines, those are indicating that this box is exactly in the middle horizontally and vertically. So you know that this text box is perfectly aligned for the particular slide. 
Alrighty, so let's say that you want to have your presentation in one theme instead of two. Right now we have craft and we have imagine. Let's say you want, you know, you want only one theme. What you could do, you can select all of them and then you would click on theme and then you would click craft. And there you go. It'll put the theme all as craft. And then it also changed this and this according to the theme's fonts and colors. So if you wanted to change this back, all you would do is click on this text and now you can edit it. You would just go to this little box to where you can change the different colors. If you want frog white, then you, like I said, you can do the same for here. So then you can make these white. And then you can make them bold so they're a little bit easier to see. Okay. That is the basics of Keynote. The next video is going to go into transitions and... Um, different things like that that's a little bit more advanced but this is how you would make a very basic keynote 2009 presentation this is KNA 8533 and make sure you look for the second video alright thanks